Now the trial for a 94-year-old former Auschwitz guard has begun in western Germany. Former SS Sergeant Reinhold Hanning is charged with 170,000 counts of accessory to murder for, the, for serving in the death camp where hundreds of thousands of Hungarian Jews were killed in gas chambers. Hanning says he served in a part of the camp where no gassings took place. A 94-year-old Auschwitz survivor from Berlin is scheduled to testify during the opening of the trial. Avi Ben Lolo, president and CEO of Friends of Simon Wiesenthal, Center for Holocaust Studies, is in our studios in Toronto. It's taken some time for these trials to get to court. Why is it important for these cases to proceed, in your view? Well, number one is a crime was committed. Uh, the murder of hundreds of thousands, and as you know, six million Jews in total were, were, was committed in the uh, Holocaust. Uh, so that's the first thing. Bringing war criminals to justice is critical. Anyone who commits murder or is an accessory to murder should be brought to justice, firstly. Secondly, is that, um, you know, we have to record this in our history books. Um, you know, the Simon Wiesenthal Center and Simon Wiesenthal himself uh, was adamant to bringing war criminals to justice, to letting them go through the court process in order to document uh, the truth about what has happened. As you know, Holocaust denial, both uh, individual and state-sponsored, is uh, rampant. And this will remain for history for years to come. What do we know about Reinhold Hanning, the man accused? Well, at this point, and the trial, as you know, just uh, got started, uh, this is a man who was recruited uh, to the Nazi SS Waffen. Uh, he was, uh, around 1942, he was a guard at Auschwitz. Uh, it is believed that in some cases he led uh, prisoners to the gas chambers, and this will all be uh, hopefully proven in court. So he was a direct accessory to murder. The numbers are 170,000, but, you know, 1.3 million people were murdered at Auschwitz alone. Tell us about Germany's uh, prosecution of these uh, former Nazis. Has Germany done enough, of, uh, in your view, to bring them to justice? Yeah, it's an excellent question. Uh, we don't believe that Germany has done en enough. In fact, we don't believe that uh, most countries have done enough to bring Nazi war criminals to justice, including Canada. Uh, it's only been in recent years that Germany has kind of woken up, so to speak, and brought um, uh, Nazis, uh, former Nazis, to trial. Uh, the the Demaniak uh, trial in 2011, uh, and of course last year there was the trial of Groening, who was an accountant, um, has been brought to trial. When you think about it, if you put it in perspective, hundreds and thousands of people had to participate in the genocide. Some people had to order gas canisters. Some people had to design architecturally the gas chambers and the entire concentration camps. There were guards, there were numerous people who were involved in this, and very, very few uh, have come to trial, and most have gotten away with murder. Avi Ben Lolo, president and the CEO of Friends of Simon Wiesenthal Center. It's so good to speak with you, sir. Thank you.